Alright guys, so it is November 30th today. It's essentially the second to last day of No Shave November. December starts tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a new year after next month. So it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, here we go, starting off with the, the uh, room tour. Some things have changed, some things have not, once again. Um, I'll just go over some things you guys might have missed in October. Uh, and that's really it. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Um, and I'll give you guys some news and updates on what might be around in the months to come. I can't speak English. Boom! Alright guys, to start off, I'm going to start in the back corner and then right after this we're going to skip straight to the gaming setup and then just follow up with everything else around the room. So of course I have my uh, bureau right here or my uh, whatever the hell it's called. Bureau! I call it a bureau. I don't even I don't even care what else everybody else says. I have some batteries um, from the Logitech wireless keyboard. Um, so when I babysit, I can have the little kids play with the keyboard and they don't do anything with the computer, even if I took the adapter out. Over here I just have books, uh, uh, of course Tolkien, Children of Horan, fantastic, fantastic book, Mark Twain, uh, Stephen Pressfield, I got some Anthony Horowitz over here, I loved Anthony Horowitz, um, Stephen King, blah blah, random deck of cards. Um, I have a really nasty <laughs> Steel Series mouse pad here, underneath that I have an old, old, old motherboard which I'm probably going to recycle. I don't know why I have that. And underneath that I have um, a really crappy 2009 laptop, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. In this corner still we have the Fedora and the Minecraft poster and the Walking Dead poster. Um, the Walking Dead is currently like freaking me out because tomorrow, or tonight rather, is actually the mid-season finale and it's gonna drive me freaking insane. So we'll keep going. Here's the Mickey Mouse drawing from a few years ago. Um, I'm probably gonna take that down, probably gonna take the other one down as well and move it somewhere else. I'm not entirely sure where, but we'll figure it out. I have a magnetic dartboard here, which I can use. I don't use, but I can sometimes. Over here we have the closet. Uh, it says no trespassing. That's been there and then of course I moved the game over shirt onto the door um, because I wanted to put something else up in its place which you guys will see in a minute uh, moving down here we have a fan tower which I can control just like the other one um, that's very very handy it keeps the room nice and cool it keeps uh, the ambient temperature in here nice for the PC I have a tripod I have a piano bench and now here I have my tower of tower of tea. I'm gonna call it uh, Arizona tea, sweet tea, Arnold Palmer, uh, half and half. And um, yeah, I need to recycle that. So as soon as I get that out of here, it might look a little bit more timely. But I had to do that for now, um, considering it's kind of been messy because I, I get so much that I need the empty boxes for the empty cans, and that's how I recycle everything nice and neatly. So we'll go ahead and move up. Here we have my graduation cap and my tassel, no big deal. And now we're going to go ahead on to the biggest nerdgasm that we've ever encountered here. Well, this is your certificate of authenticity for the Sword of Thorn Oakenshield Orcrest. Now, if you're wondering why I have it, if you haven't been looking at my vlog, on the other side, of course, is the map of Erebor, pretty much. Now, this is Orcrest right here. This was a $168 replica by United Cutlery. I got it off Amazon. I paid $175 total for it. It's got a 39 inch stainless steel, uh, OS 6 stainless steel blade. Um, I sharpened it a little bit, and in my recent vlog, I tried to do slow motion with this camera. Tried. 
I am running at 60 FPS, so I'm not running any higher than that. So slow motion is very, very difficult unless I do time remapping. And time remapping takes forever in Premiere Pro. Um, so this is the sword. It's amazing. It's heavy. It's 10 pounds. It's solid. Um, I'm going to get the scabbard for it eventually, but the scabbard is also expensive. It's over $120. So I don't know when that's going to pop up, but you guys will see it eventually. Here I have a new uh, Hobbit. Battle of the Five Armies poster. Um, I've locked my tickets in. We have our tickets for the closest thing to a midnight premiere that we could possibly get, uh, me and some of my friends from high school. Uh, so that we're gonna see that on the 16th at 7 p.m. or 7.30. It's gonna be freaking awesome. These courses shows Azog, Galadriel, and Gandalf. And of course, Elrond, because Elrond's a badass. And we'll go ahead and skip right into the gaming setup. Now, gaming setup, I do not have console. I don't, I just don't do console. Console is not my thing at all. But we'll go ahead and skip right into it. Also, everything you guys see in this video will be in the description down below. Everything, every single tech piece you see here. Now, starting off, we have two LG LED 24 inch monitors. They are the 24EN 43V-Bs. I cannot find them anywhere anymore, which is really saddening because anytime I get a monitor that I really like, they disappear. So I got, I got one and then one right after the other. Uh, and that was a few months ago, of course. Now I have the Logitech Z506 uh, surround sound system that's on the desk here. We have the left here, the rear left over there, the mid, which it can actually go up on a monitor because that actually has a little clip, but I didn't want to. The right and the subwoofer behind with the rear right all the way down in that corner under the futon. But regardless, we'll go ahead and jump in straight to the specs. So of course over here I have the Corsair RGB K70. This keyboard's amazing. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's it's gorgeous. It, it just runs so amazingly there are no problems with the firmware anything like that blah 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 it's it's great I cannot I could not say how much I would recommend this keyboard this keyboard has cherry MX red switches which reds are are, are not bad I like blues personally because I had that other uh, blue keyboard um, and they were a little bit more clicky and I like the tactile feedback but that's all right I'll take this one instead Moving over, we have the MM200 Corsair Gaming mouse pad right underneath the Corsair M65 mouse, which I'm planning to upgrade to the M65 due to the uh, repositioning of the sniper button for the uh, lower DPI. Now, on one of the monitors, we have a Kingston card reader, which I use for my camera, and we'll get into my camera in a few minutes. I'll just show you guys the box. Um, on top we have the Logitech C920 webcam. I use this for some of my videos, not all of them, but some of them. Some intros for my vlogs, etc. I have a really crappy arm mount for my mic, um, uh, which I'm, it's an AGP Tech, I believe it is, which I'm planning to upgrade soon. As well as the Blue Radius, um, I'm sorry, the Blue Yeti Radius shock mount as well as the Blue Yeti microphone, which I do for some of my videos, sometimes Skype, etc. And that's essentially it for this half. Now if we move on, of course, we do have the uh, Corsair Vengeance 2100 wireless headset that sits here, which I am starting to use quite a bit more so I can walk around my house and have fun with it. I have the charging cable that comes around from the other side of the hub right here. And that's essentially it for that. Now we go on to the gaming rig that keeps all of this powering. Now this baby right here is pretty much done. Now I've explained this in the past. Um, I really don't have any more upgrades to give. So, in this baby, first of all, the case is an NZXT Phantom 410 chassis. It's mid tower. It is custom painted with the two EVGA case badges on the front. The blue and the silver is all custom painted. Um, it actually came out a lot better on the front than it did on the top. Um, not exactly entirely sure why. I think it just might have been my method on how I went about it. But other than that, it still looks really, really good. Um, and rather than dark or black and um, 
black and black, really. So I decided to change it up a little bit. But on the inside, we have a 3770K with a Gigabyte GA Z77X D3H motherboard. It's a little bit of an older chipset. 16 gigs of RAM. The processor is cooled by an H100i by Corsair with a blue light from the RGB LED on the inside. We have some cold cathode lights here and on the top of the case, which give it a nice glow. And we have two 760s in SLI right here. And it's all being powered by a CX750M power supply by Corsair. Now, for Black Friday, I wanted to do this after Black Friday because I thought I would get some deals and maybe get a third monitor. But uh, Best Buy didn't have shit for deals when I went. So I said, screw it, I'll look at their hard drives and storage um, options. So I looked around and I found a, the best deal I could find, which was a Samsung 840 Evo 250 gig SSD for $115. It was 130 total, but I figured that was a steal. So I plugged that baby in um, as well as the A-Date at the same time, used the uh, migration software from the disk, moved everything over from the A-Data SSD onto this one, set this one as the boot drive, formatted the other one, now I have the other one sitting proudly up there with all the boxes, and that one's going to be sold to my parents for when they do their build, and when they do their build, I will have a how to build PC video Finally, for you guys, uh, it should be coming up in the next two weeks or so. So that's going to be good. It's just going to be an i5 3570K, um, like my my old processor, as a matter of fact. And there's going to be a build for you. It's going to be descriptive. It's going to tell you everything you guys need to know on how to build a PC, and we'll be all good to go. So moving back, I got that SSD. It runs flawlessly. My boot time. Oh wow, my boot time is now uh, seven seconds instead of. 11 or 12 seconds which is awesome and then below that I have a 500 gig and one terabyte hard drive 500 gigs just for other programs uh, games stuff like that and the terabyte drive is for all my media so my music my movies um, my my videos etc and this build is is really done it's amazing it runs flawlessly it's done it's just done now that is the baby that runs all of this now moving on we have underneath here, we have my lockbox, my Galaxy Tab, I have a Feather from Zeus, and my portable charger right here, as long as some bullets and stuff. I have my food drawer that's kind of emptied out quite a bit. I got some ruffles in there, which I might pop open right after this video in editing. Airsoft gun, compressed air. Now what I've used with the compressed air is that when you turn it upside down, you essentially uh, could give yourself frostbite with what's on the inside because it's so compressed. There's so much, I believe it's nitrogen, that you can turn it upside down and pretty much spray it on whatever you want and cool it down to super, super, super cold temperatures. Now, real quick, what I did is I actually took that and I was running a benchmark. And what I did is I turned it upside down and I sprayed it on those copper heat pipes that you can see right above the EVGA logo right there. And I basically brought the temperature of my GPU down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that is cooler than any liquid cooling system I have ever seen. When, I, when people explain that their cards are liquid co co cooled and on max, they've said about 40 degrees te uh, is where they, they lie. I brought mine down to 32 degrees because the copper heat pipes go to the copper block, which is right above the GPU, which is awesome. Moving on, that's kind of cool for me. We have a giant old tech drawer here, which basically has some pens, wires, a pop filter, my old uh, um, wrist rest, which I'm not thinking I'm gonna use anymore because it just gets dirty fast. Now I got some other stuff over there. I believe that's a yearbook back there, some note cards, a hat, blah, 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 blah. Um, some other stuff, I got the DVD burner and stuff over here, which I'm going to get rid of because I don't need them anymore, which is awesome. Got some cleaners, some discs, all my software discs are back there as well. Got some tape because tape. Now moving on top, we have a painting that used to be up on the wall until I took it down. There's also the Game of Thrones, which is up here, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. I'm probably going to keep it up for now. Um, here is the mini fridge. On the mini fridge, we have bagels, we have some pudding. 
we have some cream cheese, and we have some cookie dough, because cookie dough is delicious. On the top we have a little tripod for the camera that just kind of, just kind of neat. I, have, I don't really use it much, but I bought it very recently so I can use it whenever. I have a Leatherman on the top. I have the camera bag, the Skull Candy Hash 2s, the box for the Chiro little Energy Plus um, portable battery, and then of course we have the two LED monitor boxes. Now I just keep these just for the hell of it. I'm not a hoarder. I saw one of those comments and I laughed my ass off because if you look at every other person, say Linus Tech Tips or Jay's Two Cents or Awesome Sauce Network, they all have boxes and Paul's hardware. They all have all their old boxes. And that's not only because they have those products, but because they review those products constantly. So, hoarder, no. Geek, yes. Thank you, moving on. Up here we have the Coolpix L830 box by Nikon. This is the camera that I'm currently using. It's amazing. 1080p, 60fps video, as well as 4K pictures. I swear to God, my pictures in 4K. I swear to God. If you guys look at the thumbnail from the October ga gaming setup and room tour, I had to downsize it to 1080p because it was in a 4K resolution. It's crazy. Now, on top, I have a, a top hat, and on the, on the side, I have an axe. Now, that was because for uh, Halloween, I was actually Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter which seems like a very odd costume, but I pulled it off very well, and I might include a quick picture of that real quick. Now, of course, over here, we do have a painting that's still up on the wall. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen um, with this general area. So maybe there might be some changes, I'm not sure yet. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the biggest dick of my room. This motherfucker right here, ain't that right, Zeus? Yeah, you got your you got your own feather in your mouth, you dumbass. There you go. You're welcome. Now this guy, well, oh no, it's still stuck on his face. Wow, what a picture. Now this guy, uh, well, I worked till 3 a.m. last night, and this guy decides that he needs to chirp to get me up. Uh, I did not get up until 12 o'clock today, until noon, because this guy's a dick. <laughs> So this is his cage, this is his throne. His name is Zeus, which is proudly displayed. Um, he definitely is kind of the keeper of the room. He's at the highest point and that's where they like to be because they, they just like to be up. I've had him for a while, probably about three or four months. Um, and uh, yeah, he's a little tiny parakeet and he's kind of a dick, but he's, he's getting more used to the camera now. Um, yeah, he's, he's not a big fan of it that much, but he'll get used to it eventually. Right here I have my bookshelf. Now, of course I don't use it for books. Whoever uses a bookshelf for books? I got my lightsabers over here. I have my diploma over here. I have my trophies, my other lightsaber, my Transformers ring, which you guys uh, enjoy quite a bit. I got a big old mug, which I haven't shown you guys in the last one, but this is from my high school. Uh, 2013 is when I graduated, and this on the back is all of the names of the people in my graduating class, which I have known for years and years and years ahead of time. So we'll move down below. Of course, here I have the Xfinity router. Oh, wow, that looks really cool. Wow. This is the Xfinity router. Um, this is hardwired into the wall, which is also hardwired to the PC via that gigantic length of the Ethernet cord back there. Speeds are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fan coaster right here, which is actually being powered by this little Bluetooth speaker. Uh, if I hit the Bluetooth speaker on, my phone will actually connect automatically. Now, ish. There it is. And on top, I have a little um, glass with my name on it, which was when from my brother got married in September. This Bluetooth speaker is the Philips NFC Bluetooth speaker. It was $100 at Walmart. It's great. It's, it really is amazing. You can either go off of battery power or plugged in uh, direct current power with a uh, wall outlet. Now, of course, here I have the iPhone 4S, a Star-Lord 4S case, which isn't really a great case, but it just looks awesome. I got that for human peoples as well. As the posters, which I'll be showing you guys in a minute. Down below I here have some books, some planes, a little uh, Star, Force, Star Tour baseball that my brother got for me when he was in Disneyland with his wife. 
Now, as well as a light, just for the hell of it, and some knives. Now, over here I do have a USB extension cord. Now, this is kind of neat. This is a giant USB extension cord that goes from here all the way back behind the setup and plugs in right there. Basically, that allows me to sit here, or sleep here for that matter, and simply take the charging cord from my phone from the PC, plug it in right here, and still be able to A, connect to the PC, and B, charge, which is very, very handy. That's pretty much it for this part of the room. This is the giant cable, um, that's coaxial. Very, very nice. There's that rear speaker that we were talking about right there. We got some 20 pound weights under there. Now here's the last part of the room tour, guys. This is the futon right here. Amazing, uh, absolutely so, it's just so comfortable. Of course, I actually did miss on the back window, so we do have the array of all the balls. So many balls. Balls, B-A-W-L-S, grab your balls and run like hell. That's their actual motto. Now moving on to the back wall, we have some uh, keychains here. I have one from Cosmo and my friend went. I have a spare house key, a bullet, and a Transformers thing. It's got my name on it as well. That's what, uh, it's another thing my brother got me. Moving right above that, we have the Razer Nostromo. It's the older uh, gaming pad. It still works perfectly fine. I just have it up for display. Two fans, we have a Corsair SP120 that came with the H100i, uh, an NZXT performance fan, and an Intel Pentium, I believe that is an E2, that's an E220. Wait, is that? No. No, that's an E2220 Pentium dual core. I push that thing to the limits. <laughs> I have a Hobbit Unexpected Journey poster. Eventually, I'll get one from the second movie and then have all of those lined up right there. That's, that's the plan. Now, of course, in the very back corner, we have all of the boxes. Here's that box for the Samsung uh, SSD. There's the old SSD. There's the 3570K. So those guys are gonna go in my parents' build. There's the MM200 box back there. Blah, 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 all the other boxes. And the last things are the posters. So here is the Guardians of the Galaxy poster, which I recently just got, considering it's out on DVD now. Of course, I got the download, because duh. So yeah, there's Guardians of the Galaxy, there's the Space Chimp, and there's the Keep Calm and Bamfon, which I still haven't fixed this being out of the way. And of course, the very, very last thing is my coat rack, and my iron gym, and my work bag, and some walking sticks, and this! And that's really it! So that's pretty much concluding the gaming setup and room tour. Oh, if you guys want to know what my chair is, it's the Office Max Fausto 2. It's very nice, it's leather. Um, so it's not gonna rip or anything like my other shitty chair. So that's pretty much it. Um, I wanted to give you guys some news on where all this will be in uh, January, February, maybe March. So I'm very, 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 very close to moving. Um, and we just have to find somewhere that's reasonably priced because my city is ridiculously fucking expensive. Like for one bedrooms, it's it goes as high as nine hundred to a thousand dollars a month, or eleven hundred or uh, twelve hundred dollars a month. So I'm not doing that, but I'm gonna find somewhere where we can make that happen. Probably a studio, so a nice, simple five hundred square feet, whatever. I'm gonna have my desk. I'm gonna have it. I'm probably gonna get the extension, and that means that this little part over here will be for LAN parties. So if anybody comes over with their PC and monitor and ha we can have a LAN party, we can set their computer right there. No, um, yeah, so that's gonna happen. We'll see how it works um, and that's gonna be cool. And then after that, you guys will get apartment tours instead of room tours. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Go ahead and chop hop over to the channel and check out my vlogs, my gaming setups, my unboxings, all that good stuff if you guys want some new tech. Thanks for watching again. Zeus sends his compliments. Don't you, Zeus? Don't you? Oh, good. He's more, he's more friendly now. Awesome. That's pretty much it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time.